Hello everybody. Many people are familiar with the belief that the best artists, poets, and writers have all had some form of mental illness. You may have also heard that there is a correlation between depression and creativity. Today, we're going to explore two works of literature that invoke this question and the brave ways women have stood up for themselves despite having mental illness. But first, I need to put a little disclaimer. There may be spoilers if you are not familiar with either of these stories or authors. I also need to give a content warning because there is a mention of depression, mental illness, self-harm, and suicide. Please stop watching this video now if either of those topics are a threat to your own safety. If not, please continue the video and I hope that you enjoy. The Yellow Wallpaper is a short story written by Charlotte Perkins Gilman in 1890. This story is one of Gilman's most popular works of writing. The Yellow Wallpaper is told in first person by an unnamed narrator, a young woman and wife of a doctor named John, and who is suffering from postpartum depression. From her husband, she is prescribed the rest cure, which basically means she's supposed to rest as much as she can to not work and just wait it out until she gets better. The narrator wants to write as a form of catharsis, but it's looked down upon by her doctor slash husband. She does not like the rest cure and says multiple times that she knows what will help her get better. One quote of hers is, personally, I disagree with their ideas. Personally, I believe that congenial work with excitement and change would do me good. The whole story is written like diary entries, as she is only able to write when John and their housekeeper, Jenny, aren't around. The narrator also says, I did write a while in spite of them, but it does exhaust me a good deal, having to be so sly about it or else meet with heavy opposition. As the story progresses, the narrator slowly sinks into the depths of insanity. Now we get to talk about one of my favorite authors of all time, Sylvia Plath. We're gonna talk about her novel, The Bell Jar. Sylvia Plath's The Bell Jar was published in 1963. This novel tells the story of Esther Greenwood, who had just finished her academics for the college school year, as she starts to suffer from depression and must take a break from school. Upon its publication, no one ever thought this novel was going to go anywhere. But these predictions were wrong. Now the bell jar is one piece of classic literature that is considered one that realistically portrays depression. However, rather than the rest cure, unlike in Gilman's The Yellow Wallpaper, the main character in Plath's novel is instead sent to a psychiatric hospital and is given ECT otherwise known as electroconvulsive therapy. Both the yellow wallpaper and the bell jar describe mental illness from a first person perspective, something that was uncommon for both of these time periods. They both focus on their journeys in hopes of getting better. What is interesting is that both stories are based on mental illnesses that the authors experience themselves. Both authors unfortunately lost their fathers at young ages. Charlotte Gilman's father walked out and neglected her family one day only coming back to visit Charlotte and her siblings for short periods of time. Sylvia Plath was only eight years old when her father passed away. Neither Charlotte nor Sylvia's mothers were particularly affectionate or nurturing due to the abandonment and pain both felt. Charlotte Gilman suffered from postpartum depression after the birth of her daughter, Catherine, and her doctor prescribed her the rest cure. After trying this for a while, she decided that the rest cure was ridiculous and did more harm than good. To prove her point, she wrote The Yellow Wallpaper. Sylvia Plath was also in college when she began to suffer from a deep depression, and after a failed suicide attempt at age 19, she was sent to a psychiatric hospital where she received electroconvulsive shock therapy. Her own time spent in the hospital inspired her to write The Bell Jar, and she sought to understand her own psyche. Both stories have such realistic portrayals of mental illness that I get goosebumps when I, as someone who has and does dealt with mental illness, read their words. A quote from the yellow wallpaper is, I cry at nothing and cry most of the time. Another thing is that depression tends to take the energy out of you and Gilman does a great job at expressing this. One of her quotes is, nobody would believe what an effort it is to do what little I am able to dress and entertain and order things. Sylvia Plath has some great quotes from the bell jar too. One of them is, I buried my head under the darkness of the pillow and pretended it was night. I couldn't see the point of getting up. 
had nothing to look forward to. Another one of her quotes is, if I didn't think, I'd be much happier. It is unfortunate that both of these women committed suicide. I feel that this is one of the many, many reasons their stories should be read. What they felt, what they experienced was real. Today, so many people are suffering from depression, anxiety, and other mental illnesses. What both of these authors wanted to tell us is that treatment for the mentally ill must get better. That the psychological pain is real and valid and should be treated as such. In Gilman's The Yellow Wallpaper, the ending is one of psychological horror. Trying to warn readers that the rest cure isn't really helpful. Alternatively though, Class the Bell Jar ends with the hopefulness of getting better. As the years have gone by, treatment has gotten better, and while we still have a long, long way to go, we should hold on to the hope that things will get better. And they do. The very last page of the bell jar has one of the most beautiful quotes of all time. It goes like this. I took a deep breath and listened to the old brag of my heart. I am, I am, I am. I think that uh, both of these books are wonderful, wonderful stories. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this video. I hope that you learned something. Um, if you are curious about reading The Yellow Wallpaper or The Bell Jar or anything else that these authors have written, please go do so. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed. Bye, everybody.